What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So I think most people can agree with me that Dokkan's been kind of dead for a little while now, but you know what? That's all about to change. A brand new campaign is about to begin and there are a lot of details to cover. So why don't we just jump right into it? Here we go and hit up the news and jump right in here. It's the Dragon Ball Fighters crossover special campaign. So Android number 21 will show up in Dokkan battle, which we already knew about. Don't miss out on the new special event and Dokkan Festival. In addition, virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash will be available during the event period. And don't worry if you guys are a little bit confused about exactly what that's referring to. I was as well. We'll talk about it more in a second. And it's pretty damn exciting. Okay, enjoy Dragon Ball Fighters crossover special campaign. Here we go. Number one, crossover login bonus. Pretty standard. We get stones every day for logging in. Number two, crossover special missions. I believe it's 21 total stones for completing all the missions um, during the event period. We got some Dragonstone sales here. Not the best sales we've seen, but you know it is something. I'm probably gonna pick up the 32 stone pack, and that's pretty much it. I don't think this 91 stone pack is a very good deal. You know, it's up to you guys whether you're a whale or not. But um, we've definitely seen better discounts than this. Number four is the Dokkan Festival, of course, featuring the physical android number 17 one of my favorite units in the game honestly like i haven't even played with him yet but just based off the character and what i know about the unit itself i really want it <laughs> and of course android 21 is coming with him and the new tech number 16 is coming as well and both of them are awesome awesome units well all three of them are awesome units we have an androids category summon as well Honestly, you know, some of these units are really good. This Tech 18, Tech 17, and the Cell actually are all good units, but I would usually, you know, recommend to stay away from these category summons, even though you could get, you know, LRs potentially from them, and they are probably going to be discounted for the first three multis. Still, you know, not the best use of your stone. So it's really up to you, but I wouldn't recommend summoning on this banner. Number six, we have a new special event, which is the Dragon Ball Fighters uh, story event. In total, I calculated you can get 21 stones from the uh, stages as well as the missions. So that's good. More free stones. And also, we can get um, a farmable int number 21, Android 21, that you can use, I believe, to um, increase the super attack of the summonable SDR number 21. So that's good right there. Number seven, we have the... Dokkan event for number 17, of course, to awaken him if you pull him. And we have the Balma event. So this tech Balma, I mentioned in the last video, she's really awesome. She's actually a really good tank. She won't do like a ton of damage for you, but she is a really good tank and especially good for those events that only allow you to use uh, drop characters. And she actually was on my team for my super battle road clear. So, you know, if you want a good tank for that team and you're missing something that you know, will take you over the top and allow you to beat Super Battle Road with your Super Tech team, definitely farm her up. Or if you don't, like even if you just want like a good unit for Super Tech, a good sub, she's definitely a good option. Number nine, we have Goku and friends are back. <laughs> um, this is it's like another story event. If you guys haven't cleared it yet, some more free stones and things like that. Number 10, training in the clouds renewal, tons of character EXP and rare items. So uh, I don't know exactly what this is all about, but basically I guess they made this event a little bit better because no one was really running it in the past, so that's always a good thing. Number 11 is uh, Extreme Z Awakening. Oh, this is the Dokkan Festival, so <laughs> this is the banner for the EZA Full Power Frieza. Of course, it's going to feature SSJ4 Goku, as you see on the banner, and also SDR SSJ3 Vegeta. So some solid units, if you're missing them, then you know it might be worth a shot. And let's see, in addition, Extreme Z Dokkan Festival Summon Tickets, a uh, summon that requires Extreme Z Dokkan Festival Ticket 3. So we'll be able to get some tickets for a separate ticket banner. It's going to be the same banner, just the ticket banner. And uh, I guess we'll get them through missions or something like that. Number 12, we have some more uh, Pilafs Trove Packs. Just stay away from them, guys. It's not worth it. You get the tickets, but like they're going to be more money than they're really worth. Number 12, or number 13, we have Extreme Z Battle, Easy A, Full Power Frieza. This man is an absolute beast. I've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. My Full Power Frieza is rainbowed, so I can't wait to fully awaken him and just... He's already a monster, so after he gets Easy A, it's gonna be... It, it's over. Like, it's gonna be too good. <laughs> so, hope you guys are excited for that. And also, this is one of the easiest, like, Dokkan Fights character Easy A's we've gone in a long time because his, um... His weakness is Namek Saga category characters, and anybody who just puts in the time to grind the Ginyu Force will be able to put together a good team for that. So, you know, most people should be able to get to level 30, no problem, and fully Extreme Z awaken their Frieza's. So that's really, really good. I'm really happy about that. 
number 14, we have the Raditz event coming back. This guy is an amazing AoE unit. You know, AoE is like attack all, so if you guys don't have LR Broly, don't have LR Macho Vegeta or any of the other really good, you know, summonable AoE units, then this guy is fantastic. Make sure you farm him up. And number 15, Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. So what does that mean? Um, you know, because it's a completely new term, really nothing we've heard about in the past. This is Battle Road, guys. Like, I am 99% sure. Did I say Battle Road? Battlefield. <laughs> Battlefield. This is Battlefield, guys. Battlefield 2.0, to be more specific. Global never got Battlefield 1.0 because it was a little bit janky, I guess. And uh, they, I guess they just decided to make this our Battlefield 2.0. So it's going to be the same thing that JP has. And what this means essentially is that we'll be getting more free stones, free orbs, and a lot of other good free things every single month with Battle Road. And also, we should be getting uh, LR Cooler as well as the ability to get more dupes for our LR Ginyu Goku. And I'm not really sure about physical LR Ginyu. I don't know if they're going to just add it as like an option that we can buy with the currency or whatever that we get from Battle Road. No details on that, but a lot of good stuff coming, guys. Battle Road is finally, finally here. Global players have had to wait for a very, very long time for this. It's finally happening. It's finally a thing. So... Get excited for that, get hyped for that. Of course, I'm going to be streaming that as well as the EZA Full Power Frieza runs as well. So stay tuned for those streams, all right? Number 16, we have the um, story, the, the other world story event, so that's fine. Number 17, we have Galactic Crisis, Super Guy in the Galaxy, the, at the BoJack event where you can actually farm up um, Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohans. Which, if you have LR Gohan and you haven't uh, farmed up his super attack yet, you can actually use these Gohans to farm up his super attack. It's kind of a niche thing, but you know, if you're one of those people out there who got LR Gohan and was just waiting for a farmable super attack, like a thing they can farm for his super attack, then this is the event for you. So there you go. And number 18, we have um, the SDR characters summon. So I believe the LRs in this one right now for global, I guess for both versions, probably. For both, for, I don't know, but LR Beerus and LR Broly. So if you pull on this banner, you have a chance to get either of those LRs. And if you want those LRs, this is your best chance to get them because it only has STR characters and it will only have the STR LRs. Besides that, though, um, the supports are really good if you want to run a good STR Extreme or Super STR team, um, and you get Kai's as well. So that's always a good thing. Number 19, three doubled ranking XP, which is like really nothing. We're used to three times, four times now. Double is you know, it, it could be better, could be better, but it, it's it's there, so if you guys want to you know, run some events, rank up a little bit, you know, go do that. And that is all for the special events, I believe. I don't think I've missed anything. You know, sometimes I get excited and like I miss things in between, but I think I got everything here. So we're going to jump right over to the next thing, which are is the login bonus. I'm just going to quickly go over it. So it's going to be one stone a day. One stone a day every day, but I do like the fact that they started adding these orbs as login bonuses as well, which is great. We get some Sleepy Kai's, get some, I got a real Kai, <laughs> and that is pretty much at one stone a day over 21 days for 21 stones. And last but not least, we have the special missions. I don't know if there's anything like really crazy here, but you get a Kai for using 1500 stamina, which is a lot of stamina, but you know what? Free Kai, I'll take that. And, you know, your, your standard things, your medals, your training items some stones in total you can get 21 stones you know what it's definitely not a coincidence in my last video I was like coincidence you know you get 21 stones for the story event I think not this is not a coincidence we get 21 stones for this and we get 21 stones for the login bonus obviously it's because Android 21 is finally making it into the game and they want to like do a special thing for that guys I don't know whatever like they like to do those things sometimes they just like to have hidden like numbers or meanings and different things yo I, I'm on to you Bandai I'm on to you Akatsuki like don't don't worry <laughs> all right guys so that is pretty much it for all the new news we're finally getting battlefield almost a battle road again but we're getting battlefield which is freaking awesome let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for that i know that if you're a long-term goal player you've probably been like me and been waiting for this for a very very long time it's been a long time coming so i'm just happy for all of us it's freaking awesome but that's gonna do it for the video guys if you like the video as always make sure to like the damn video and also if you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows they want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing up.